Buenas tardes, folks. Hi, I'm out in Langley Park. Um, came back with some more um, stuff from the Botanica. Um, I went to my usual one. I didn't go to the one out in Wheaton. I went to the one in Langley Park. They go to where I'm older. And I got me two white sage incense, a sabio blanco. Uh, let me put the phone down. And my salvia, which is the sage incense that I buy. I actually like the smell of the pure sage incense better than the white sage. And I got two candles. One of them is a tapa boca, which means shut mouth or shut the fuck up. This is a shut the fuck up candle. And this is a candle I bought for myself. And maybe a candle you can buy pretty much for anyone who's gossiping about you. Just running off at the mouth who's trying to do you harm. Who's trying to screw you over. You know, and what you do is you say the name of the person. And you put the prayer out there. Or you can use this tapa boca for yourself. Sometimes as people we have to check our own selves. And realize we talk too damn much. We tell too much of our life to people. And then you want to know why people want to do shady things to you. Well, that's because you're running that fat ass mouth. And maybe you have to put your own name in the petition to shut the fuck up. You know, stop ruining your own blessings by running your mouth. By running that boca and telling people shit. And I got me, of course... My Lady of Charity, or is he's um, Caridad del Cobre, which is um, Our Lady of Copper Charity. This is um, in Cuban patron, in Catholicism, Our Lady of Charity, or Caridad del Cobre, is the um, is synchronized with the African Orisha Oshun, which is why it's yellow. The candle's yellow and gold, which is Oshun's color too. She is synchronized with Caridad del Cobre. And of course, you know, you say your prayer and all that other jazz. Um, I'm going to put this downstairs with the other ones I got. Because I'm not going to use this right now. Um, I might use the top of Boca. I might use it for myself. And last but not least, I was looking for a small statue. But I ended up getting this big one because that's all they had um, of San Sebastian. Um, I think was it the 20th was um, his um, the 20th was his um, his feast day and as you see Saint Sebastian with all the um, arrows going through his throat his side and you know he was saved oh he this is how he was sentenced to death but God and the angel saved him from death with all that happened to him and here he is alive and well so this is him, San Sebastian. I think his feast day was the 20th or yesterday. I have to look it up. So this will be another one added to my collection to put on my um, dresser. And that's about it, folks. I don't have too much of a big haul. I'm going to go home. I'm going to rest and, you know, get into my prayer and all that stuff. It is so fucking cold out here in Maryland. If anyone that's in the DMV area, please stay safe. Please stay warm. All right. Talk to you later. Adios. Mwah.